Well, we first brought you this story back in January. Cal Fire updating their state coverage, considering things like climate data, topography, and most importantly, wind. 23 ABC's Ava Kirshner is joining us live in studio now to bring us the latest status on the map and some changes we could see soon. Good morning, Ava. Yeah, good morning, Callan. Well, if you haven't seen it, this is the fire hazard severity zone map with areas in yellow at a moderate hazard, orange in a high hazard and red in a very high fire hazard. Now, this version of the map went through a lengthy public comment period that just ended yesterday. At the beginning of 2023, Cal Fire released their new fire hazard severity zone map, a new version from the last time it was updated back in 2007, with many areas being bumped up to a very high level of fire hazard, including here in Kern County. Cal Fire held meetings throughout California, with Kerns being on January 19th in Tehachapi. Many concerns of that meeting were time extension for comment. Assemblyman Fong believes the public comment period should be extended an additional 60 to 90 days. And it seems reasonable uh, with having been in development for, for 10 years that, uh, uh, that the public would be allowed the additional 90 days. Tejon Ranch would like to echo some of the requests you've heard here today that additional time is needed. The extension was granted up until April 4th. Now with the date passed, local laws may be feeling the effect. This will be something that contributes to laws related to defensible space on property and maybe even construction codes throughout the various counties. That is the most common impact individuals may see from these hazard maps because they're hazard maps, not risk maps. Other concerns of residents that would now be in high hazard areas was insurance. It looks Looks like I am going to be dumped into the very high fire hazard range. Um, the state program maybe helps the mortgage lenders, but it doesn't really do anything for the private uh, person. The insurance for this park has tripled because the state put us in a high fire risk areas and you're screwing all the businesses and the homeowners. The CAL FIRE says they don't expect to be direct factors due to the different types of maps. The insurance companies use a risk map that they develop with their own criteria, and this is a hazard map. So they're two different things. We're not sure what the insurance companies will do with these hazard maps or if they'll use these maps or not. Moving forward, CAL FIRE says they will take all public comment into consideration before finalizing the map, including comment from our very own Kern Fire Department. We have given feedback on the maps. We are just a singular organization, though. We know that there's other organizations, departments, agencies right here in Kern County alone that have said, you know what, we're looking at these proposed changes to the hazard maps, and we think that this is a comment that we need to, to put in as well. The Office of the State Fire Marshal tells me they could even extend the comment period again if they feel it's necessary to get a closer look at this map and this map and to see how it directly affects you. You can view the interactive version on our website, 2023.com. Live in studio, Ava Kirshner, 23ABC News, connecting you.